primary goals of our research is to improve nutrient management recommendations for soybeans. Over the past uh, six to eight years, we've done a lot of research looking at the correlation and calibration of soil test potassium and phosphorus that are used to develop phosphorus and potassium recommendations in soil testing. Um, we feel like we've come a long way in that regard with potassium. Uh, we're still working on phosphorus for two reasons, because we tend to see uh, less frequent responses to P from soybean, and uh, the soil test phosphorus is just more complex and it's not as good of an index of availability, uh, not just for soybean, but for all crops. And uh, more recently, we have started to focus uh, in terms of potassium, since we feel relatively confident with our recommendations, we focused more on monitoring nutrient uptake uh, during the season as affected by maturity group and by nutrient level, so that we can uh, do a better job of pinpointing the exact reasons for yield loss that are associated with nutrient deficiency and once we get that information, that will help us uh, to develop strategies for ameliorating those uh, problems in season. A um, typical week for me is uh, we spend probably on average uh, during the summer, it works out that we're in Eastern Arkansas three days a week and, and spending two nights there. Well, uh, my favorite thing about the soybean would be that it, uh, from a nutrient response standpoint, it, uh, communicates more uh, when it's deficient it uh, when it's you know moderate to moderate stress it, it starts talking to you and letting you know that it's suffering just like to acknowledge that uh, my soil fertility project was funded by the soybean checkoff program with the funds being administered by the soybean research and promotion board